Yeah. John Gallagher Jr. <laughs> Hello, Hi. I'm Johnny Nelson. Lovely Hi, to meet you. Um, you've me. made a messed up movie. It's it's really sick. Oh good. And and kind of it's it's kind of difficult to get through, especially when you're jet lagged. Oh yeah. In I a can good imagine. way. Yeah. Um, how would you how would you sum up a film like this? What is it? Is it sci-fi? Is it horror? Yeah. It's it's ev- it's kind of everything and in between all of those things. Like I think of it as as uh, being like a really human thriller. So it's about larger than life circumstance and a really intense kind of unknown cataclysmic event that has happened to the earth, but it forces these characters underground to have to face each other and face their own fears and their own regrets and everything that comes with that. Um, so, you know, it does have elements of all those things, sci-fi, horror, thriller, drama, character-driven film, but uh, it's just kind of just a human Thriller is is that's the term that I keep kind of coming back to in a in a sense, but uh, yeah, it's about these three people trapped underground, not really knowing what's happened to the earth above them, and trying to figure out what their next step's going to be. It's kind of like War of the Worlds meets its misery, right? In yeah, a way. In, a, in a really good way. Yeah. Um, they say it's a blood relative to the original film, to Cloverfield. Yeah. Did you did you get caught up in that a few years ago, like everybody else did when that first came out? I did. I remember seeing the the kind of mysterious teaser that came out in the summer of two thousand seven, before the film got released in the winter, and uh, I was totally intrigued. And I, I still remember seeing that trailer where the Statue of Liberty's head rolls through the street, and I was like, "What is this?" And uh, I went just along with everybody else, and uh, I went and bought a ticket, and I saw it. Uh, I was living. Out in Queens, in New York, I bought a ticket and I sat down and watched that movie by myself, and um, I loved it. I, mean, I thought it was so fun and exciting. And one thing I really loved about it that I think this movie also has is that, yeah, it was about something really big and crazy and extreme. In that movie, it was about a monster attacking New York City and knocking over buildings, and causing all kinds of destruction and mayhem. But at the heart of it, when you really go back to that movie, it's really about those characters that are making their way through the through the through the rubble, trying to you know, figure out those next few steps of whatever they're going to do. And that this this movie kind of shares that sense where that it's really about the people. Well, that movie didn't have was a creepy as hell John Goodman. It didn't. Now, everybody loves John Goodman. Even when he's angry and shouting, oh, he's it's what you expect from him. So great. He's so creepy in this. It's what was that like one. to work with? Were you having your... Uh, preconception shattered by this man? Did he go method and lock you in your dressing room? No, the thing, <laughs> no thankfully, no. But the thing that was amazing is that, you know, he's an incredible actor. And you're you're really, when you're on set with him, you get a front row seat to that. Because you get to see him in between takes. And he's kind of, you know, he's not being uh, immature about it, but he cracks jokes and, you know, keeps people laughing, keeps things light. And then when the cameras roll, he's totally gone. He just totally fades and retreats into this character and just is able to turn on that kind of madness and that psychosis so effortlessly that you really start believing that it's all real, you know. Mm. It's incredible. It was great. I mean, I've been such a fan of his along, like you said, with a lot of other people who love him. But like it was really and everything. I know. I couldn't stop thinking about that. The whole That's one of my favorite movies. So. And there's been so much uh, secrecy around this movie from the very start. It was a secret movie made while Star Wars was shouting and yelling. Right, right. And now, now it's got so much anticipation built from the Super Bowl and everyone's gone crazy about it. Is that difficult for you not being able to say anything about what happens in Really, the I love it because I, I, I'm a big fan of this way of doing it, of having it kind of be a surprise because this day and age, as you said, like that one, the, having one movie that's kind of shouting and then another movie that kind of, you know, whispers you into the theater. I like that because I'm a fan of not knowing too much. I like to go into things with a bit of a blank slate and I totally am, gla- am glad that people like like JJ, are out there that are committed to giving audiences that experience again.